I've just been around uh, Morrison's, folks. Out of a cruise round with me trolley, as you do. Well, as I do. I don't know if you do. You probably just do after I've done what I've done and you follow my lead. Anyway, uh, the child wanted one of those pasta things. You know, as you walk into Morrison's, you've got the market thing, ain't you? You've got that little square thing where it's got all the different kinds of pasta and the rice and the veg and the salad and all that kind of stuff and uh, pour it in the little Tupperware thing that you can never shut properly because for some reason you've got a piece of cheese somewhat crammed in the lid and then it never shuts down properly and you're trying to get it out and then you're licking your fingers in Tesco's and uh, in, uh, in Morrison's and people are thinking, look at that scutter actually eating it. Yeah. So I was there and uh, I popped over to the bit where they keep all the pork pies and the sausage rolls and all that and they had got this. There you go, folks. Can you see that? For the visually impaired, it is a sausage roll. It is a sausage roll, a little bit of a flat sausage roll. It's got a nice puff pastry on it. It's got some kind of sprinkling of cheese, I think, on the top of it. Cheese, yes. Who doesn't like cheese? Everybody likes cheese. So what it is, folks, it is a the best French Toulouse style roll. Now, when I bought this... The young lady behind the counter says, I says, what's in that? She goes, oh, this, this and that and that and it's something like, it's French, right? So there's garlic in it. That's stereotyping. There's onions in it. That's stereotyping. I think there's some red wine in it. That's stereotyping. So it's all French. So I thought, right, I'll get home and I'll have a look at the ingredients online. Uh, because I couldn't be bothered. There was some bloke buying some chicken stuff over there, and then the other one was she was taking chicken out of the bloody cooker thing. And I thought, I can't be arsed with all this waiting around and messing you about just for me. So I thought, right, I'll come home, and I'll bring it up on the old Galaxy, uh, the Samsung. And, uh, right, when I type it, actually, when I actually typed in the sausage roll, it says, whoops, it's not there what you're looking for. Well, where the bloody hell is it then? If it ain't on here, if it ain't on your website, Morrison's, where the hell is it? Because there's somebody screwed up there. There is no point in selling something, saying it's on your site, and then it's not on your site when you want to see what's in it. I could have some kind of gluten tolerance, intolerance, and I need to know what's in that. It's just ridiculous. So, Morrison's, if you're going to start selling stuff, put it on your bloody website so people can check it up. Right? You've been told by BVM. So what I've done is I've brought up the uh, Morrison's Best Pork Toulouse Sausages. And it says in it, right, British pork with smoked Wiltshire bacon, Merlot herbs and Merlot, 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 Merlot M-E-R-L-O-T, herbs and garlic. It's gluten-free, folks, so there's no glutens in this, right? It's uh, yeah, it's a sausage roll, but that's just the sausage. So they've not actually told me what's in it, which is wrong, really, because I, I want to know what's in this, and I'm sure you people do. Well, there's nothing in that. It's an empty bag. But I'm sure you want to know what's in that, don't you? By the way, it's been in the oven. It's been cooked or warmed through. Let's cut a bit out of this. Let's have a look. Now, I do like Morrison's food. It is proper, wholesome, English, stodgy food. There you go, folks. That's the actual sausage. I've cut my fingernails, folks. You see that? Look. What do you want? What do you want, then? Eh? There it is, sausage, folks. You can see all the herbs and all that inside it. It's uh... it's very spicy. Eh? Very, very spicy, that. That is one of the spiciest sausage rolls. I've ever had. That's as spicy. As scary spice and ginger spice getting it on. Controversial. One saying it's happened. One saying it's not. Are they struggling to sell tickets? Is the Spice Girls reunion struggling to sell tickets so they've made something up? So, what I'm going to do, folks, I'll cut that bit there. 
Now, you're not just interested in my view, are you? No, you're not. People have been asking for the dogs. And the dogs are here. Oh, I pulled the camera off. Oh, bugger. There you go, we're back on. Right, dogs. Do you want to go first, dude? Or do you want to go? Hold on, let the, uh, come up, up here, up here. What do you think to that? Is that nice? That's that nice. You want to carry on eating that, don't you? you got to get down. Doodle's turn. Up here. No, you can't have any more. You've done. Up, oh, bump. Up here. Ow! Look at that. Like a bloody... That got me. So, there you have it, folks. The dogs like it. I like it. For £1.10, that was. I've not mentioned the price, have I? That's very, very unprofessional of me. Uh, some people have been moaning because I forgot the price. I forget the price. This is how I am. This is it. It's raw. This is raw. I don't edit. I don't do anything like that. This is it. You're not having any more. You'll ruin your dinner. So this, folks, is a very nice... Uh, I think there's a bit of cheese on the top. Yeah, there's cheese on the top of that. There's cheese on the top of the... Uh, thing. You see that? It's like a Parmesan cheese or something. It's probably not Parmesan. Because that, it wouldn't be that, but... It's that flaky cheese kind of thing, you know. But well, that's nice. That is very nice. I think you've been out to work all day. Or you've been shopping and you come home and you want something that's Wholesome filling, very tasty. It's tasty. Yeah, it's tasty. It's very, very tasty. And it's really tasty. And I don't think you'll go wrong with it. The pastry is nice. Very crispy. Flaky pastry, very nice. But it's like crispy cheese or stuff like that on the top. Which really, really adds to the um, the experience of eating this sausage roll. I'll tell you what, this is really nice. Once again, I mean, look at that flaky pastry, folks. For the visually impaired, that's flaky. Yeah, it's got a really nice... I don't know what the outer crusting coating is. But it's really, really nice. And the sausage roll is just nice, meaty. There's no lumps of fat. There's no lumps of gristle in there. Mmm. But it's really spicy. If you like a... If, you don't, if you're not keen on herbs and spices, this is not for you. Don't waste your £1.10. Because it's really got... It's basically got a bloody herb garden in there. It's got everything. You can taste like sage or... It is a bit sage and onion stuffing kind of flavour, to be fair. It is. It's very, very like that. Come to think of it now, it does taste a lot like sage and onion. But it's nice. It's really nice. And it's gone. So, folks, if you do see yourselves going to Morrison soon... Make your way over to the bit where the uh, salad bar is and just round the corner where the fresh cooked chickens are and have a look. They do other sausage rolls as well. They do a farmhouse one. I was going to pick that one up, but then I seen that one. And I thought with Brexit being so much in the news, I'll go for the French style. French style one. So there you have it, folks. Uh, yeah, get yourself down, Morrison's. Try one of them. If you like Herbie stuff, that'll be great. If you don't like Herbie stuff, don't even go near it. Don't go near it. All right, laters.